All right, here you go, 13th. I'm just gonna talk about Tesla in this video. So I went back through just to get more detailed into this, to show you where I think it's probably gonna go. And if you go out to the monthly time frame, you'll see this is pretty important. I like to start start at the highest time frames to find the supply and demand. And you can see here clearly monthly demand is right here between 158 and 204 and then you have monthly supply up here at 262 where we hit um, a little bit ago a few weeks ago up to 314 so they're obviously unloading right here and um, like I said in the video yesterday they're probably gonna be loading in this area right here so if we zoom in here that's monthly demand you can go to weekly I have weekly in the green so we also hit weekly supply right up here monthly and weekly came out of that um, and then I have the gap fills right here we're currently in daily demand another daily demand zone here and then monthly demand so those are all the levels to watch um, then you got the moving averages obviously we finish above the 20 day or the 200 day moving average on the weekly but um, just based on the structure and with monthly demand all the way down here, I do think that it is probably most likely we're going all the way down here now, especially now after um, Friday going down even more. And just negative news after negative news. Even with this 200 um, on the weekly right here and we finished above it, I do think that there's a very good chance that we push lower than this. And I think that we're probably going to hit, my guess would be something like this. So let me draw a parallel line. If we're going to 172, and this is WX, that means we have to have an ABC pattern for the Y wave. So I can draw this down here. <clears throat> And you're looking at a minimum of 172. And then you could look at a maximum. <clears throat> of 150, but that's below monthly demand. That's in no man's land. So we can kind of conclude that it's probably going right around the 1.23 fib. And that kind of makes sense as well for a WXY move. So I'm, I'm saying 172 on the there's no daily i don't think or weekly down in that area let me double check though and nope there is right around in here so it's possible we end shorter than that there is a daily demand zone right here and there's one down here at 162. That would be the very bottom. So that's another um, area that I was looking at in the last video. So we have 162. Put that over here. And then we have, for shorter, we have this right here. So now let me zoom back out. So 162 and... This area right here is another um, spot we can land in. So we're in monthly demand in both of those. Um, then we can look at gap fills as well. If we're not going to go all the way down below this, most likely. I just messed that up. Oh, well. Um, let's look at gap fills real quick on the lower area. So now we have gap fills. There's a small gap fill right here at 163. So that is very possible. I'm going to go ahead and mark that. And then there's a big gap fill here at 146. But that is below monthly demand. So you would expect that not to hit. Um, the maximum we can go, again, is... Is that all the gap fills? So maximum we can hit, again, one more time, is... The 1.61 fib here, 149. So I don't think we're going to make, the, maybe it goes to 146 gap fill, but it is below monthly demand. So I would expect it not to hit that. Um, 
So a bunch of different spots we can hit. But overall, I think that um, 172 would be my target just because it stays inside of the parallel lines. 170. Um, it doesn't hit a demand zone, though. So that's one thing to take into account. We could be just going to the this one right here. So how is this going to get down there now? That's the question. Well, usually these go, they don't always go to, they could go to the 1.23 fib, like this went to the 1.23 fib. <clears throat> um, but the maximum, so this one to 1.23 fib, the maximum is the 1.61 fib. I would personally think that this is going to go to about 204. That would be my guess because this is an ABC pattern. So you're looking at this again as something like that. And then you can also take the line here and just see where it would bounce to. Let's say if we go to 172 and I would only expect a bounce back up to like 223. So that is kind of the minimum that I'm looking for. Because this is a WXY pattern. And so if this is going to go all the way to 172, let me zoom out even farther than this. So on the log chart, if this is a wave one, which it most likely is based on this pattern. If it was a wave C, we would see a nested move, which is still technically possible, but very unlikely, the overall market. So um, the 0.5 fib, look where the 0.5 fib is. 0.5 fib is at 174. So if this is a second wave, it has to go to the 0.5 fib. So there you go. Basically, that's what I think is going to happen over the next probably two to three months. Maybe shorter than that. It could be, I mean, 204 will probably come into earnings or maybe like early next week. And then I would expect a bounce maybe into earnings. And this could actually come quicker than that. Maybe it ends in like February. Or March but anyway we'll hit the 0.5 fib and then I'm expecting a third wave after that <clears throat> third wave would take us all the way to 583 bucks so all of a sudden Tesla turns into NVIDIA um, so 583 it's possible it doesn't go that high, but we can draw a parallel line. Let's just see. And I can just use the regular chart for my targets so they're more conservative. Let's just see where conservatively we would be at. <clears throat> You're looking at 423 even on the regular chart. And this is probably better to be honest because I don't think that it's going to go to like 800 bucks. So 174. <clears throat> pull back to 362 and you're probably looking at something around you're looking at something around five hundred and fifty seven dollars <throat> so sorry about the coughing um, So you can see why um, <clears throat> it's not a huge deal that this dip is happening. I mean, if you don't know where it's going to go, then it obviously it's a <clears throat> it's kind of tough um, because you don't know where it's going to go. You're kind of panicking. But now that I'm kind of seeing the pattern right here, I did hedge on Friday more. I got some puts and I sold some calls. So if we do gap down again, down here to this monthly demand zone and this daily demand zone, <clears throat> I'll make profit on that. And then I'm going to be able to reload up here when it bounces to about 223 for the final leg down here to 172. And again, you can go Delta negative. You can go Delta. So down here, I'll be fully Delta positive. And then I can sell calls again up here and I can go Delta negative, hopefully. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is on Tesla. This is probably the most likely pattern. Again, it's still possible, but very unlikely that this happens.
down here to like 70 bucks. That's very unlikely. So I would say this is the most likely pattern. I'm not really looking to the upside right now just because we chopped around in monthly demand all throughout here. So we hit it three times, one time, two times, three times. And now we're finally coming down. And then there's going to be accumulation in that area. So I've been kind of getting into the wick off method a little bit. Um, so basically you have accumulation. You have um, stage two is the move higher. Then you have distribution. Which this would be all of this area right here. Where I just showed you all into monthly supply. And now you're looking at the markdown area. And then this might take a little bit to take off, or it might go straight up. Maybe this is accumulation right here as well, but monthly demand and monthly supply are gonna play pretty big into this move. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a more detailed um, update on Tesla. Let's go to the monthly though real quick and just look at the moving averages. So, I guess the 50 is up here at, oh, 50 is here at 207. So it's another area of interest to look at for this to fall to. Um, and I would imagine that if it comes down here to 204, we'll get a bounce above 207 close and then come up here and then come down. And then the 20 is back up here at 225. So that actually works out perfectly. This might actually be working pretty well with the monthly um, moving averages. So 204, back up here to 225, and then down here to 172. And that's when everyone's going to be super bearish, and you're going to have to buy the dip. So that's pretty much it. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. But again, the market's probably going to go up after the next couple of months. Pretty big, too. The dollar is going to get weaker. I think like crypto is going to go up. All that stuff's going to go up. So um, I wouldn't freak out as long as you know what's going to happen. We have about $46 to go probably for this bottoms. That's it. Like, subscribe for more updates. Talk to you in the next one.